Welcome to my workshop. Hal here. And what you see before you is my Spy 900. And I have the Zenmuse H3-2D gimbal with a GoPro attached to it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to remotely control the uh, tilt function of the gimbal um, using a DX9 and a DX8. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to power on my DX9. And I'm going to power on the DX8. And the next thing we're going to do is power up the Spy 900. I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, currently how this works. I have um, my, my tilt control on this little knob and you can see the GoPro is tilting. But I want to be concentrating on flying. I don't want to be concentrating on using this uh, knob here to control the tilt. I want the person on the telemetry to control the tilt. So I'm going to show you exactly how this works. The DX8 is now powered up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this switch right here Gimbal control on. and as you can see now using the DX8 I can use this knob so the person on the telemetry can be watching where the craft is going and using this knob on their own radio to tilt the H3 2D gimbal. The uh, whole trick to getting this to work is the wireless buddy box feature of the DX9. So powering it up, I'm going to show you exactly what I did. There's the model setup for my DX uh, on my DX9 and the Spy 900 and if you take a look at my settings here I go down to uh, system setup and I go all the way down into the training function and what I did was I set up the wireless trainer feature and what you want is if you look closely is pilot link master and what that allows you to do is that allows you to throw uh, features over to the slave unit um, and keep all the main uh, features here in this radio. So as you can see the top row says slave, the bottom row says master. This is the master unit, the DX9. It has all the programming for the Spy 900. And if you look down closely, all I did was I moved auxiliary 3 by pressing the wheel, I moved it up to the slave. And then what I did was I went down to the switch feature and I just enabled switch this switch to be the switch to send over um, this knob, which is on AUX3, over to my DX8. That's it. Then I went up to the bind feature here and I would bind a simple uh, model on my DX8 over to the DX9. Now there's more, of, I'm not going to go over the details of, of doing these things specifically. I just wanted to show you um, the setup in the trainer, what I did. And there's more uh, details on how to bind and do this in the manual, which is where I'll send you to. Um, but the main uh, point of this video is to show you that I used the trainer feature to send this knob, which is on AUX3, over to my DX8. So on the DX8... We can put this down. Now if you take a look over here on the DX8, I'll power it up. And I just set up a simple model. And this model is a simple airplane model. And let's just... I'll show you what the simple model feature looks like. And I'll go to switch select. And the real uh, feature or issue here to set up is on the knob use aux 3 okay so that's important and then I just bind this model uh, to my DX9 and that's how this works 
So you're using the training feature to send aux3 over to the knob. And you could take a look at the, you could go over here and go into uh, monitor. And when I move, you see the bottom uh, aux3 moves using this knob. And if I come over here to the monitor feature here on the DX9, you can see that aux3 is not doing anything onto the DX9's channel. But when I flip the switch, okay, now I go over to the DX8, and I hope you can see in the video, the aux3 channel is actually moving. And what's great is the DX9 has voice enunciations for the gimbal. So listen up. And that's how I uh, work with my uh, co-pilot, if you will, who's on the telemetry, um, working the gimbal on the Spy 900. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and enjoy.